another aspect of green is sustainability. And I know you have several sustainable development goals that you want to share with us today. And our food systems are an important aspect of being green. And agriculture is a common theme that you've shared with us during our Green Things Summits. And with that in mind, can you tell us about the second sustainable development goal, which is zero hunger and how IoT and AI are helping to resolve this challenge? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you probably hear stuff, you know, you got to measure what matters, right? Uh, and if you can't measure it, you can't manage or improve things. And I think that's at the crux of what IoT does. And so when you're going after, you know, so you have these United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, and there's 17 of them. And it occurred to me several years ago that IoT and analytics and AI and things like that could actually move the needle uh, in some of those areas. Um, and so what I try to do generally before going after any one of these is, you know, you've got to make it simple for people. Like if you want people to go around the world and help save the planet, you can't, it can't be some hard, complex IoT thing that they don't understand. And so my mind for whatever you're tackling, it's like, I like to snap Lego blocks together, you know, sensors, what's the kind of device, what kind of electricity you're using? Cause you might, it might matter if you're outdoors or indoors, what kind of network do you have to use? Are you going to model it as a digital twin? You know, what are your KPIs that you're measuring? What kind of analytics or AI do you need? What's the automation to take action on whatever the insight is? Um, and what are people doing? You know, because nothing happens without people. And so when I think if I drill in just on hunger, um, and no doubt about it, you're right. We've talked a lot about agriculture in the past. You know, um, there's a lot of food waste that you probably read about all the time. Um, you know, and, and as I probably mentioned before in past events, you know, as we get to 2050, you know, we might get to nine or 10 billion people on this planet. Um, and so we've got to increase food production or not lose food, as it turns out, um, when you think about food waste, um, it, you know, as I've heard from growers before, we've got to create more food than we have since the beginning of farming. But it also turns out that right now, believe it or not, we actually produce enough food, but we're losing, you know, so much food waste, you know, about 30% after harvest from a farm, you know, like as soon as all, whatever it is you're harvesting, now it's got to go to market through that supply chain, right? And so you, that's about 1.3 billion tons a year that we lose. And so, you know, what's that supply chain look like? It's getting them onto trucks, 18 wheelers, refrigerated. One of the oldest things we've ever talked about, right? In IoT was cold chain, right? Um, that's, that's an oldie but goodie, right? That, that's not rocket science, but it's important. And so making sure food harvested when it's stored, monitoring it there, monitoring it in trucks. Turns out there's lots of intermediate players in that supply chain that things get handed off to on the way to the grocery store or the restaurant. And so uh, there's a lot of opportunities for food to go bad along that way. And so as it turns out, if we do a better job using IoT and taking actions and not letting bad things get away from us, we can cut that food waste down dramatically and make a huge difference for folks, even in lieu of producing more food, which obviously we need to do that as well. So anyway, that's a that's a great thing to tackle. 